Governor, I know that. I'm sorry. I've been around. Yeah. No, this, uh, there's a camera up over the door. Are we being recorded now? Oh, I assume so. I and am too. So if it's recorded, <laughs> theoretically, then, like with the emails, would they be available to public? Sure. They would. Anything that goes on in this office? I'm not exactly sure what the, what the, what's being recorded and what's not. As I said, what we're, we're, we're doing here. Who decided on that? That, that wasn't there. Last, well, I guess, I don't know, I can't say last week, but the last time they get Governor Blunt had a news conference. The, uh, the camera over the top of the door. We, in, in the Attorney General's office, we had a camera that we used, not to record, but we used that so that, that my executive assistant would know when meetings were over and we could move more quickly through meetings. Um, and that's, so it's not for recording purposes. We used it so that she would know when meetings were on. And when I came in as Attorney General, we had the same system over there. It was existed in the Attorney General's office before that time. It was used merely as a, as a, a, a telecommunication device so she could tell when meetings were over, who was in meetings, so that we could be more efficient uh, in our operations. It's, it's an efficiency manner so that uh, my executive assistant a little further away will have the ability to uh, like I say, it came in, it was really useful in the Attorney General's office. So those of you who have been in the executive assistance spot, you, you could see him so that, that uh, you knew what, what meetings were over, so that one group was coming in, or who was there, and who wasn't there. And these are, especially in an office like this where people come in from both sides, it's, it can be uh, a little difficult to, to figure out exactly uh, uh, who's in where. So Lila will be able to uh, be the traffic cop uh, in a little bigger venue than she was in a smaller venue before. I said, 